Hi everyone, my name is Abigail and welcome to my very first Let's Play on my channel. Today we're obviously going to be playing Bug Snacks, as, as you can see. Like, uh, and uh, just to let you know, this is going to be a semi-blind playthrough. Because I've played through this game before, so I do know what I'm doing, but I don't know everything. Like, I haven't memorized everything about this game, so just keep that in mind. Okay, now let's get started. I've already booted up this game before today, so that's why it's not taking too long to load. Otherwise, it kind of does. Yep. That's a giant moth like pizza. Kind of the point of this game. Yep. The big mountain there. The weird statues and stuff like that. And, uh, yep, if you press F, you can pick up, use your snack scope, which is like a sort of camera you can use to, like, scan bug snacks and objects around you. Like this. These statues must be hundreds of years old. Interesting, huh? Creepy, huh? The skeleton is years old. Who was this? Yeah, we're going to be getting a lot of those kinds of things around. Hey, fighters. And here's some danger signs. Wonder what those could mean. How strange. I doubt Lisbert made these. Yeah, and then you see the croucher stand up. You might need a few times because uh, to get out of tight squeeze. Ominous, isn't it? And here's a bridge, which is also kind of ominous. And that's why. As you cross it, it'll start to fall down. Not a very warm welcome from an island, is it? Ugh, so creepy. Rustling bushes and stuff like that because you don't have no idea what's in them. There's the giant moth like pizza again. We'll be fighting it later. Ouch. That would hurt. Two weeks earlier. Are we rolling? <clears throat> Greetings. I am Lisbeth Megafig, intrepid explorer, seeker of the unknown, hunter of undiscovered creatures. And she's a real charm. Hmm. <laughs> Eggerbill, stop. What? The people deserve to know. You're the only one who gets to know. Yep, there's LGBT content in this game. <clears throat> I'm Lisbet, and I have made an incredible discovery here on Snack Tooth Island. But this is more than a mere expedition. My followers and I have started building a new community here. Construction of our settlement is well underway. What draws us so far away from civilization? What discovery could tempt us to start a new life in the untamed wild? Bug snacks! They're the most delicious thing in the world. You haven't lived until you've tried one. <laughs> it's true. Half bug, half snack. There's nothing quite like them. Yeah. There's one now. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Good effort, Bilbo. As for you. I'm sure you're wondering why I've sent you this film. I've read your work. The Shadow of Grumpfoot, The Secret of Soylent Grump, stellar pieces of journalism. Like me, you have a passion for discovering unknown truth. And also like me, you truly recognize your talent. You are just the Grumpus I need to share my story with the world. I've sent you a map to our settlement. Come to Snacktooth Island. Together. You and I will share the incredible tale of Bug Snacks. Now we're in an office. And this is our boss, C. Clumpy Clumbernut. Wow, that's your new lead? Another monster hunt? Do you have any idea how much trouble you've caused me? Yeah. I had to recall half a million papers and give a public apology. All because your Grumpfoot Turned out to be a lost football mascot. We've been over this. 
It doesn't matter how eye-catching your articles are if I'm stuck cleaning up your sloppy work. You're already out of second chances. And now you're gonna follow Elizabeth to some grump-forsaken island? Elizabeth Megafig is either a con artist or a lunatic! Wow. Remember that whole mess with Grumplantis? This bug snacks thing is just her latest delusion. Why don't you believe in bug snacks? Because I've got a working brain. What's wrong with snacks with your research. Ships go missing around there all the time. The place is like me before I get my coffee. Deadly. <laughs> What do you know about Lizbert? She got a little famous after stumbling across some forgotten civilization in Grumpsylvania. She's been coasting off that success ever since. Well, I'm going. This is absurd. Only a desperate loser would follow Lizbert. That's my middle name. Well, it is a tantalizing story, if true. We'll just have to hear it from Lizbert herself. Say you get an interview with her and make it back alive. You just might keep your job. Now get going and try not to fall off a cliff or something. Heh. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Present day. Ooh. What's that? Yeah. Our boss isn't a very pleasant person, as you can probably guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bilbo, the self-anointed mayor. He seems to be trying his best. Yeah. Lizbert, is that you? Oh, thank Grump you're alive. Too bad I'm dying, though. Who are you? What? Oh, it's, it's me, Bilbo. What happened? I was looking for you, but uh, I got hungry and I couldn't catch any bug snacks. This where is Lisbert? That's a weird question, Lisbert. Yeah, he's delirious. Moving on. You're not Lisbert. Yeah. Oh, Grump. It doesn't matter who you are. Please give me something to eat. Sure thing, buddy. Hooray! Ow. <laughs> uh, I think there's a bug snack right over there. Could you get a good look at it? Find out which one it is for me. <laughs> See? That's a strappy. A very simple snack. Watch its walking pattern. Yeah, just walks around over here. I scanned a strappy. Oh, oh, good. That that one's pretty easy to catch. Well, you aren't me anyway. <laughs> okay, do me a favor and take my snack trap. Where does he keep that? Okay. <laughs> Its tracks come out of this bush. Put the snack trap down there, and then we'll hide. Right, Very good. Behind this rock. Oh, nice. I'll pick it up before it escapes. There we go. New snack, Strabby. <laughs> now feed the Strabby. Awesome. Yep, that's what the buck snacks do. Oh, yes. I'm saved. Strawberry arm. This? Pretty neat, huh? It's a side effect of eating bug snacks. Yeah. Anywho, I'm still recovering. I could use maybe three more bug snacks. I'm sure that scope of yours will come in handy. Skin and plan, I always say. Okay. Let's see. I have to find another strawberry. And a some and a rudel. Yeah. Burrows into the soil when scared. And then there's a lolive. Latches onto snacks and traps with its, with its upsettingly long tongue. Yeah. This is to teach you how to get your snack how to get your uh, snack trap back. You go to Q and then you press E to retrieve it. And after a brief loading time, it'll reappear. You do that with all your tools. Here we go. Riddle. Well, some of the bug snacks are actually kind of cute. 
Strabby's a bit weird. The Rudal sounds cute. There's a few other cute ones, too. There we go. Let's see. Where's that other Rudal? This is, ah, that's just Strabby right here. Okay. Come on, little guy. There we go. Now we just got a few Philbo here. Feed. There we go. You are a lifesaver, buddy. Oh, sorry, I was too busy dying to introduce myself. I'm Philbo Fiddlepie. I'm the uh, mayor around here. Um, sorry if this is a stupid question, but uh, what are you doing out here? Lisbert Megafig asked me to join her. Oh, you got the film. I helped Lisbert make that. I know who you are. You're the journalist. I knew it was stupid to ask. Lisbert said you'd be coming. Hmm, you're a bit late though. Playing my boss for that. Still, it's my job to show you the way to town. Follow me. <laughs> yeah, just follow these arrows and it'll show you where Snacksburg is. Hey, buddy. I have to tell you something. I'm supposed to take you home, but Lisbert might not be there. Why are you sad? I don't know where Lisbert is. I was out here looking for her. But who knows? Maybe she will be there when we get back. I'm sure she wouldn't want to miss her interview with you. Mm. Ready to go, buddy? Let's go then. Right. Through here. Yeah. <laughs> Quite the strength he is. Garden Grove. Yeah, this is the next area. We, we were in Flavor Falls back then. Strawbies and Rudels. Yeah. Yeah, this here is Wambus. Hey, Wambus. How's the farm? <laughs> You're still alive? Thought you'd have starved to death by now. Nope. <laughs> I found a journalist. They're also pretty good at hunting bug snacks. I was gonna bring them back to Snacksburg. That's nice. Don't you wanna come with? No. Well, why not? I got my paws full with my ketchup crop. Yeah. Without Lisbert around to catch bug snacks, I gotta keep us all fed. Uh, we can't just eat ketchup. Well, it's better than nothing. You want us to die out here? No, no, but, uh, but this garden is just so far away from everybody. Maybe you could start another one in town? Call this one quits? I don't quit. Now kindly leave and take a ketchup for the road. <laughs> Get out of here! Ooh. Stranger, I could use your help. This bunger goes wild for ketchup. There's a pen set up nearby. Take my sauce slinger, gather up some ketchup, and use it to lead the bunger over yonder. Yeah, we just got a new tool. It's called the slingshot, as you can guess. And uh, we can use it to lure different bug snacks around, like we're gonna do right now. Like this. There we go. I took care of that bunker. Thanks, stranger. We better go check on Philbo. Even though you threw a piece of ketchup at him and expected it not to backfire on you. <laughs> that had to hurt. That's funny. Poor Philbo, though, man. Are you all right, Philbo? Uh, uh, don't you worry. I'm a, I'm a little sore, but uh, I'll be a-okay. I'm just happy you're getting along with Wambus. He's having a hard time, and his wife isn't around much these days. Yeah. So, uh, just see if you can help him out. I'll stay here until my brain stops hurting. I'm sorry, stranger. I didn't mean for Philbo to get hurt like He's right, though. I'm in over my head. I know farming would be easier back in town. 
and those shishka bugs and bungers keep harassing me. Well, I'll be cold and buried before those walking appetizers make me go home starving. Let's start with the fryer. Lure it down with ketchup, and then let me eat it. Yeah. Fryers are over here. As you can tell from the name, they're like, they're spiders made out of fries. Yeah, like that. You can't, you can't uh, catch it when it's on the ceiling like that. So you have to lure it down like Wamba said. Come on, little guy. Come on. There we go. Hang on. Come on. Come on. Hmm. Hang on. Come on, little guy. You're almost there. There we go. Yeah. It can be a bit tricky catching spug snacks sometimes, right. as I'll show you later. Fryder. Tastier than I thought. Now, I want to eat those darn shish bugs. Yeah. Those pests are easy to spook, and they don't even like ketchup. Not sure why they bother with me. Yeah. Figure out how to wrangle them, and I'll be set. <laughs> yeah. Shish bugs are a bit tricky to catch because they enjoy hiding in bushes and they spook easy. <laughs> Okay, here's what you have to do. Might take a few tries though. Come on, the bunger. There we go. This bug snack tackles away traps. It also tackles anything covered in ketchup. Yeah, use the bungers to your advantage here. Let's see, the other shishka bug is over here. Come on, little shishka bug. Yeah, it's in that bush right there. Let's get some. Let's get some more ketchup. There we go. Now we just gotta lead one of these two bungers over. Make a trail of ketchup, kind of thing. Okay. Hang on. Let's just do this first. Then. Come on, Bunger. There we go. There we go. Feed. Mushrooms and tomatoes, it looks like. That's good eating. All right, last bit of business. Let's get revenge on those Bungers. They're too wily for your trap, but if you can get them all woozy and vulnerable, you can scoop them right up with this net. The net is very helpful, actually. Yeah, this is like, it's giving you like a hint on how to like, uh, yeah, it gives you a hint on what to do. Tell this pest hides and won't come out of hiding until it's forced out. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to get the two bungers to bump into each other. Okay. Come on. Hmm. Get him close enough and then... Come on. There we go. There we go. Let's get some more ketchup now. Bunger. <laughs> Bunger. All right. <laughs> Justice is served. That's dealt with for now, but they'll be back eventually. Well, I'm fixing to get my old garden growing again. Oh, you really mean it? 
Let's get moving right away. You know, you're a pretty good hunter. Like Philbo said, it's been rough since Lisbert vanished. Yeah. Been rougher for some than others. Uh, hey, I sure could use help with this tree. Yeah. Well, best not to dwell. You hold on, I got this. Yeah. Y'all just get along now. I'll catch him. <laughs> yeah. So, Philbo can handle bushes, but not trees. And as we just saw from Wambus, he's a good guy, but he just has a bit of a rough side to him. He can be a jerk sometimes. But he's mainly doing that because he misses his wife. So, he's not a jerk for no reason. Unlike Bethica over here. Hey there. Um, I'm like, Bethica? oh my god, is this squeeb really talking to me right now? I'm not a squeeb. It says right here on my snack scope Philbo, personality type, squeeb. Skills, none. Friends, none. It says that because you wrote that in yourself. It also says you're a terrible leader. I. You. Uh, uh. Like, are you still here? Zonk off, squeeb! Yeah. Bethka is definitely a bigger jerk than Wambus is. And unfortunately, we have to talk to her. OMG. You're that journalist. I haven't seen a new face in like forever. I'm Bethika Winklesnoot, and I know everything about everybody. Yeah. Can I help you? I love your snack scope. You and me are toads twinsies. No. I bet you've seen lots of great stuff. Let me take a peek at your journal. I have misplaced my journal. You lost your journal? No big deal. You can borrow one of mine. I keep them in my cave. Bring it here. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> So, this is her diary, so don't touch that. How does she even know I'm I, I put uh, my paws in her diary? This is the journal. Very, very helpful. I have the journal. Way to play fetch. What? Now open it up. Now I have to press... Now we press the tab button here. This is your bugopedia. Here you can scroll through all of the bug snacks you've scanned with your snack scope. And also check on their likes, dislikes, and hints on how to catch them. Now check out the other pages to see what they're all about. Now you can either click on them with your mouse like this. This is your Grumpopedia. It's like a Bugopedia for Grumpuses. This blank space will fill up with your notes once you get to know each Grumpus better. Or you can press either Q or E to move it around like this. This is your clues page. It's where you'll keep all your progress on finding Lisbert. You can also select the clues to get a better look look at them. And the only clue we have right now is the Bug Snacks file. A report on Lisbert's discovery of Bug Snacks. It was included along with an invitation to Snack Tooth Island. Sadly, the photos are all blurry. Typical, isn't it? This is where your this is your snack pack. It's where you keep the Bug Snacks you've caught. This is also helpful. As, and you can see right now, you can only keep a six at a time right now. I'll show you how to expand it later. This is your quest list. You can get more in-depth info on all your ongoing quests. You can also pin a quest to keep it visible while you're walking around. See? You're, this is where you can keep a quest, side quest, stuff like that. And also, yeah, mainly make quests and side quests right now. But since we don't have any side quests active, it's just the main stuff. And this is the map. This is your map of Snack Tooth. It's a map. Weather's up here at different times, and as you can see, since we've only been in Garden Grove and Flavor Falls, those are the only two areas that are actually shown right now. The island's quite big, though. This is your list of tools. Just a way to keep track of all your snack catching gear. Alright, that's everything. The journal is a record of all your information about your time on Snack Tooth Island, a place to carry all the buck snacks you've collected. The snack scope gives you information about anything it scans. That info is then added to the journal. Allows you to pick up and capture buck snacks that are stunned. Allows you to capture buck snacks and walk into its radius. Capture buck snacks can break out if they're inside for too long. It can't capture buck snacks that are too large or too quick. Get buck snacks to notice each other by saucing them or lob a few at the ground to get their attention. This journal will be helpful. See, everything you scan with the snack scope winds up in the journal. 
I have more for you to do, but Wambus is scaring all the snacks away. Yeah. You'll have to come back later. Until then, you should get Philbo out of here. Where? <sighs> Let's get this over with, buddy. See now, Friders, Bungers, and Shishka Bugs are on the loading screen well, as well. Here we are. Ooh-wee! It's a regular old ghost town. I don't know what I expected. Without Lizbert around, nobody would want to come back here. Oh. It's not much, but it's still home. Let's get moving. Yeah, now we just follow Philbo down. And this is the where the main crux of the game comes in. I'll show you shortly. I'm sorry. I guess you're not gonna get that interview with Lizbert just yet. I don't interview you. Really? Me? I mean, if you want to. Um... <laughs> Ask away, I guess. Yeah, this is the main part of the game. You bring your grumpuses back to Snacksburg, and then you interview them. Like this. First of all, who are you? I'm Philbo Fiddlepie. I guess I'm sort of like a deputy mayor? I don't know. I'm not good at most stuff, but I like to help out. I come to Snacktooth Island. Well, Lisbert asked me to tag along, so I dropped everything, and here I am. Got some buck snacks? Oh, they're great. I mean, they taste good, and they make everybody happy, so what's not to love? Any info on Lisbert? Oh, Lisbert and me go way back. Lisbert was, is awesome. She always knew what to do, and she brought out the best in all of us. She'd leave me in charge of watching Snacksburg when she went out hunting. So that's how you became mayor? I mean... I wasn't really in charge. Nobody took me seriously. Hmm. But as long as Lisbert came back with bug snacks, everything was fine. What happened to Snacksburg? One day, Lisbert went out hunting and she didn't come back. I tried to step up and keep everybody calm. Well, technically, I was in charge, right? But uh, that didn't last long. Why didn't it last? There was a big fight, and then an earthquake, and then everybody decided they'd be better off alone. They couldn't even keep us together for one day. I honestly don't know what Lisbeth saw in me. Hmm. We're a Philbo, man. I think we're done. Sorry, buddy. I didn't want to bum you out. Lisbert might be gone, but you're here now. Nobody will listen to me, but but you? You're pretty good at stuff, and well, nobody hates you yet. <laughs> yet. You catch bug snacks and bring everybody back to Snacksburg. Once they're here, you can do some more interviews and figure out what happened to Lisbert. Where should I start? You should find Gramble on the beach. If we get his ranch going again, that'll be a big help. You could also go back and talk to Befika, I guess. I don't anyway, want to. here if you need any advice. All right. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> okay. Got several quests active. You can check your quests in the journal and pin the one you want to have appear in the corner. Now, the first thing we need to do is find Gramble. But uh, I think I should do that next time because this episode's getting kind of long. So uh, next time on uh, my Bucks Next Let's Play, I think uh, we'll go down to the beach and meet Gramble and a significant other Wiggle, I suppose. And uh, we'll and we'll bring Gramble back to Snacksburg, but Wiggle comes a bit later. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my Patreon and Twitter accounts if you want. And and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.